So today we're going to show you what you get in your custom mounting board when you buy it unassembled. Uh, when you receive your board, you'll get two packages, charger and the board. We don't need the charger yet, so we'll put this to one side. Uh, how you get your board Oh, look at this. You'll get a built rear truck. This is a spur drive. Front truck. Binding and heel set. Heel straps. Wand. Wheel set up. Grip tape and bolts. Last but not least, deck with battery bolts. So first we are putting the battery truck onto the board and start doing the wiring. We have purpose made board stands for this as this you can use wherever you got but you just make it easy for yourself get it off the table first things first i'm going to get the back truck onto the board so we can start doing the wiring as a little treat that i do if you've got springs take the adjusters out fit the two front bolts into them fit it onto the deck it'll hold it up for you if you've got barrels fit the two barrel fixings first and allows you to get to the wiring and holds everything together whilst you do it Yeah, can you just leave it behind the gate? That, I'm fine with that. Post is delivering parcels. Got some coilovers for the old Micra. Ooh wee! <laughs> right. In your kit, you get a bag of heat shrink. Three different sizes. Let's empty it all out, shall we? You get two big ones. Six little ones. Two medium ones. Show me where they all go. First you want to install the big ones down the phase cables. Then the six little ones over the phase cables on the motors. Then it's just a case of pushing them both together. Doesn't matter which way they go because we set that up on the vest tool later on. So, you're gonna make sure the bullets are pushed together firmly and the heat shrink is equally over both ends of the bullet connectors. So the next one we do, the large one we pushed over earlier, we'll slide back over the three phase wires. All the way down to the motor filter. We do this so it protects both the wires and makes sure it doesn't pull apart. Next job now, it's on motor temp, as easy as putting together, but we need to put the middle size heat shrink over the cable and then clip them together. They only go one way. Push together, slide over, same on the other side as well. Yeah. With the heat shrink over them, now just heat shrink the cables. You want to get your T20 Torx, undo the end panel. So the purpose of this is, the two sensor cables we've just done, the two temp, we're going to have to get into the box and just pull them through a bit because they're too long at the moment. In with the pack of the heat shrink, you'll have two cable ties. They will go around 
the sensor wire and the phase wires at the back of the board. No, it's special, it's cable tour. Snip off the excess. Next job is to get the cable router on and fix your back truck up to the board. So, in your kit, you'll have five, four, you'll have four M5, 30 cap head bolts with a Foreman Allen key, cable router, Four M5 nuts, guess where they go? On the bottom. After the cabling's done at the back and all secured, we want to get the box back together, get the screws back in it. Whilst doing it, once you do your centre nut up on the wheel with 16 mil, tighten it up to hear a click or until it goes tight, and then just knock it back a quarter of a turn. See if I can get. Click, and then knock it back a little bit. Perfectly set. I'm not going to do the backlash on this video. You can see on another video. We'll send you a link to show you how you do it. So now we've done the back end, we're gonna do the front end, where it's a case of fitting the front truck, fitting the front wheels, four bolts, two wheels, job done. Uh, abracadabra, boom. We've got front and rear truck on, four wheels. Next is grip tape and bindings. Two sheets of grip tape. One on. And then magic, boom. So, now the grip tape's done, we need to fit the bindings. Work out if you're regular or goofy and fit them the right way according to your stance. In that normal. So that's the board built. One last thing is to do, set up the best. Do an FOC and then be ready to shred. Board on, connect. Firmware update available. Okay, because we run 6.02. Set up motors. Processing. Nope. Eastgate, make sure it says 85%. Next. Medium outrunner, tramper motors. Next. 12 series, 20,000 milliamp LiPo setup. Next. Then we have 15, 76, 195 is eight inch wheel. 39.50 on the thermistor resistor. Run detection, make sure nothing's in the way of the back wheels. Processing. Click it.
board needs a service. Processing, processing, finished. So make sure the stats look about the same. Nothing looks too far out. Okay, so you make sure your wheels turn the right way. Forward, forward. If not, invert the motors, the ones you need to. Finish. That is the basic FOC done. Next thing you wanna do is multi settings. Change from VSS to 45 DEG VO HFI. Right tool parameters. Limits. I like to press default to get a standard number. 65 on both the top ones. Move down to, lost it, absolute max. This has got VEST 6 in it, so the absolute max on that is 120. Right limits to all. Close. And I would like to do just to tune it up and make it run a bit better. FOC, HFI. Start voltage, this already is on at 15. That will say 20 on a standard setup. Move this down to 15. Right to VESC. Go back on your CAN. Pick your slave. General, FOC, HFI. Then set this again to 15. Right. That's it. Then you want to go back. Connect back to your local VESC. And this is where you would do VESC remote quick pair. Follow the instructions, have your remote ready, press OK, timer goes down. Turn on a wand, haven't got one to hand. Paired wand. Done. Done.